What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, honey. We are down here. To talk about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know you stop by, honey. Um, yeah, so it was good to me. I thought it was good. I was in there pausing it like, no, Crystal. Crystal was getting... When I tell you Kyle was on Crystal's ass, baby. When I tell you she was on her ass, she wouldn't even let her get the light out. And that's the sh I love i love it i love it hold on honey let me concentrate here let me get my get my sh together come on honey yeah so let's talk about the fashions girl oh i don't know and did you see how um did y'all see how andy didn't have much to say to crystal when he went around in the um when he went around in the circle and, and you know, uh, greeted everyone, he didn't even have nothing to say to her. <laughs> I was like, no, she was like, she was like, did you notice that? I was like, oh, girl, you don't have much to give, but a bunch of lies look like. Girl, I don't know what um, that thing with Dorit. I was like, why did they if 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 Dorit listen to me when I say if Dorit has been diagnosed with PTSD, why would they show a clip of those men walking up to her house? Like, why would they show any of that if she has post-traumatic stress disorder and has been diagnosed? That didn't, I don't think that that was the proper thing to do. I don't think that was very responsible for Bravo to do that to her. You know what I'm saying? Where's my notes? Oh, girl, don't tell me I forgot my phone. Okay, so let's talk. It was a lot of segments. Jamie, shout out to Jamie Lee Curtis. I just mentioned her on another video because she was on the internet crying about Kanye talking about the Jewish people. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay, I got everything together. I got to get everything together, child. Okay. So they did all the intros. They went around in the circle to everybody. Kyle and um, Lisa are the first seats. Lisa I don't know. It's like whatever she's giving you. I don't know what she's giving. Um, um, Erica says she's giving homegirl from Casino, which, okay, I see it. Um, Crystal just had on a yellow dress. Her hair was cute. Crystal's hair was cute. And um, Kyle, Kyle was cute, except for I don't like, you know, I don't like the antennas. I can't get with the antennas. I can't do it. The little antennas that they be having just be like sitting i don't i can't get i know people love to wear those things but i don't get it i don't understand it <laughs> I don't like just two pieces of hair in the in the thing i don't get it but okay but her dress was really pretty her dress was really pretty um sudden sudden looked okay her dress was oh her dress was cute i want i want her dress in another color that pink on her skin didn't go for me. I don't know. And her hair wasn't that cute to me. I don't know. Her hair was just regular. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on with Sutton. And then Garcelle looked nice. I just didn't like the ruffles around the, um, you know, this collar thing. But everything else, when they showed the pictures of, of um, Garcelle, like, sitting on the couch, like, the close-up pictures at Bravo really, she looked, like, perfect. I was like, oh, my God, Garcelle is so beautiful. Baby, the way that Garcelle was cutting her eyes over there toward that monitor that um, Diana was on. Oh, my God. She was like, girl, I'm not going to even talk in that direction. She OK, let's get started because it was a lot. It was a lot. And you know what? I do have to say I appreciate them speaking plainly about the things that are happening with Jax and all the stuff, like every single thing. They're like, oh, you said you guys, you know, you guys set up the robbery at Dorit's house. Like they're really saying like what? the people online are asking, right? So I appreciate that because a lot of times, especially for Beverly Hills, they like to skirt around shit and th they don't call shit out plainly. So 
as horrible as it was, I didn't know that Jax got that tweet or that um, message that he got about if his daddy wasn't, if you didn't have a white daddy, um, a knee would be on, a knee would, a cop's knee would be on his neck. And then it had Diana's name in it. And I love the way that Garcelle was like, so you think that my son in the, in the midst of him protecting himself was supposed to think about Diana. And then I was supposed to take it off and edit it out and then repost it. No, we're not doing all of that contrived shit. This is what it is. Sorry he did it, but no, not sorry. The boy was in in protection survival mode, and so was his mother. And you don't get to say, "Oh, now I need to pr- you need to protect us while you're protecting your son too." No, absolutely not. I was so glad that Garcelle stuck up for herself in that moment and her son in that moment. You bitch, sit down. Sit down. And I'm so glad that she said, "You do you think that I would do that? You think that I would do that to you?" Yeah, I do. <laughs> Andy was like, "Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. I love that. Just be forthright. Don't be like, well, like you know, I don't like all that stuff. I appreciate directness. I do. I appreciate directness, and that's just what it is. She, you don't have to say nothing nasty. Yeah, I do think you would do some shit like that. Simply like that. Straight like that." Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't give a fuck who you hang around with. Elton John, Jeffrey Epstein, whoever, girl. I still think you are capable of doing some stuff like that. I do. And an investigation is in the works. Well, I'm putting the investigation too. No, okay, well, I'm putting in mine too, girl. Because you're not going to be able to say nothing. I wonder if it who I wonder who it was. But you know what? And I'm glad that they made a statement. Okay, so Jamie Lee Curtis comes out. She does everything. She um changed the name of her charity to the Chicest Children's Charity. They came out with the carved punk pumpkins. She talked about how her um Jamie Lee Curtis said, because of your genuine enthusiasm that this is the best that her charity has ever done. She didn't realize the impact of the show. That's why I don't understand why these women get on the show and don't, you know, monetize and make some money. That's why, like any of these platforms, you really don't really realize the impact. That's why when they're like making fun of Mary to Medicine, um, Anila, like, oh, she don't have a lot of followers. She couldn't make this amount of money. You don't know these motherfuckers on Instagram are making money and they don't have a lot of followers micro influencers are what they call them look into it okay they don't looking for the big people because the engagement don't be there so y'all think that quantity means something when it's actually quality who's actually going to engage with these posts are these people following you know how many people are following people who don't post nothing they have all these followers and the people barely post so you can't say that these things don't have impact. And so Jamie Lee Curtis said that it was impactful for her. Thank you so much. And they came out with the carved pumpkins. Those pumpkins look really, really nice. They're going to be in their dressing rooms. They Marcel's said. son, Jax. Okay. I got to make sure. Okay. So they get on Garcelle's son. The racist tweets. It was unsettling. She said they sent playboy her playboy pics of her to him um they talked about the white daddy knee on your neck comment just horrible awful comments um did you think it was somebody in the group well yeah that's some people have a pattern of attacking children so i don't know if she was trying to say it was erica or was it diana we don't know um, I figured it was a way to kind of get me off the show because if you're coming after my kids, then I'm like not going to, you know, participate in this. And Andy was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she said she got an investigation going. Um, and Andy said, you know, we love the comments. We love the engagement. But the way that people and and, and truly it's really it is so weird that adult people are behaving in this way. I have very strong, firm opinions about almost everything. I really have an, I could, I could have an opinion about anything if I wanted to. As much as I stay on all these, these casts, these people, reality show, we come down here and review. 
I don't go to anyone's comments. I don't, the only comments you see me making is on the blogs, honey, because you know we sponsor the blogs, girl. But that's it. I'm not going, you think I'm on Candy's page? You think I'm on Karen Huger's page, Phaedra's page, Portia's page, any of the people that I cannot say, Ashley's page? You think I'm on any of these people's page saying anything to them? let alone their children, at some point, it it becomes psychotic to me. Like, I really think it's weird. Like, the people who, like I was saying, I was, I was like so weirded out the other day when I was reading the comments on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And I was reading, and it, it, it like freaked me out at the amount of details y'all know about these people. I was just like, that's fucking weird, bro. Like we're down here. Like I'm having these conversations. I'm talking about the show outside of what posts on the blogs. I don't, I'm not going and researching nothing. Somebody told me to do my due diligence on a reality show. That's not, that's not this space. They got spaces for those. That's not this space. This is commentary recaps on the show. If it happens to be in the blogs and I want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. But if it, if I don't want to talk about it, we're not talking about it. But to be so detailed with these people's lives and, and yes, they share their lives, but to be like, yeah, that's why you doing this and they doing this. And like the way that you stick up for the people, it is just so weird. It is, it's an, and the fact that these are just regular people, these are not even like entertainers. They don't, they not, they not celebrities. These are regular people. And that you like really like going up and going hard for and in the comments going from 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 platform to platform, leaving the same like copying and pasting comments in people's all over people's side. You go to Jamie, Bondi, Alex, you go into uh, Scotty, who else? Rodney posting the same fucking comments, copying and pasting comments. Chris, all of this, it's this. It's really gross. It is really gross. And I'm glad that I have filters on my comments where a lot of y'all comments are held for me to actually read and then I'll approve them and then they can go post on the page. So sometimes y'all might post something. A lot of times when y'all post links, links to other videos that when you come back to the comment, it's probably gone. YouTube won't allow that. I have to approve that because I don't know what kind of link you putting on and sending some traffic to somebody's page. So I need to approve that first. A lot of things that y'all say, like when you use a lot of hashtags and stuff like that, because they don't know what you're trying to promote when you're using a hashtag on somebody's comments. So the comment is held. And when I go back, there's another section in the comments. I know I'm long-winded, but this is this is for real. And I can't imagine y'all in my comments talking crazy. I'm not nowhere near. I don't have the, the reach that these people have. And I know y'all in their comments. They um, The minute somebody says something to someone, y'all go directly to their comments to the point where content creators have to say, hey, we're talking about the people here. Please don't go to their page and harass them. We're just talking about them here or on the blogs. On the blogs, that's the blogs. We talk and we in the comments talking about the people, but nobody's going to their page. And for the people who do that, it's psychotic. And then you get in these comments and there's a section that is outside of the comments that are held. There's another section that says, are you sure you want to read these comments? That's basically what it's telling you, that YouTube has put a double filter on it. And when you, I go in there and I read those comments, so I'll be like, oh my God, why would you even say that publicly? Why would you even type what you just typed and hit send on a public platform? I'm like, y'all be crazy as hell. Saying the things that y'all say. It's crazy. And I felt so disgusted the other day when I was reading the comments about Love and Marriage Transfer. I said, like, y'all know too many details on these semi-private people's lives. Like they're not celebrities, they're not entertainers, they're not, they're they're doctors, they're regular real estate agents, real estate lawyers, dentists, they regular people. And y'all be like, oh, I'm going to go down there and fight you and you and this and da 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 It's crazy. 
and y'all go to their comments. In the blogs, that's fine because that's the space for that. But to go over into somebody's house, into somebody's platform, onto somebody's page and start fucking with them, that shit is, that is psychotic to me. I'm sorry. It's beyond fanatic. It's psychotic. Dorit, they talk about Dorit's home invasion. Like I said earlier, I really think that, that they shouldn't have showed that. If she's been diagnosed with PTSD, why would you show her the thing that caused her the trauma? That doesn't make sense to me. She said, trauma touches every aspect of your life. Um, Kyle says, they asked Kyle, why were you so like you know emotional about it? And she said, because we live down the street and I... It, it made me feel a certain way knowing that Mauricio and I are over here sleep sound sleep sound asleep and she's over there going through that like just literally down the street and I was and I thought about I was like damn that's a crazy image to have like we're literally in walking distance and we're over here sleep and she's being robbed so I felt really bad and I was like damn that's crazy how did you stay calm? She said she just stayed calm. And I think like when you, and that's the one thing that is the reason why you have to have a high emotional intelligence, because when something like that happens, you need to be able to maintain control, especially when there's children around. You know what I'm saying? Because you do go any adult should go into a mode to protect the vulnerable people around them. So you have to stay calm so they can stay calm. So you can make sure you get out of the situation. So you kind of are like, not like being anxious and making the other person feel anxious and not transferring any of that type of energy. You have to be calm and nobody knows what would happen when they actually go through it. So nobody knows. Nobody knows what they would actually do. Why did they leave the phone? I love that they, they were asking questions. I love that they said, you know, people thought y'all set it up. People thought, how would, why would you negotiate or how did he negotiate to leave the, the phone? You saw the phone was like flashing or something like that. I don't know if it was an alarm or something like that. But the phone, when you saw it on the floor, it was like flashing. Um... I couldn't orchestrate something like that. They thought that PK did it. Uh, they, she was like, no, we're, that's not, we're not, you know, and you know, when you think about it, it's ridiculous, but people do ridiculous things. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we are just Tim Norman. That's all we got to say. That is a whole grown ass man who put, got a life insurance policy out on his nephew and then to pay somebody to kill his nephew so he can get the life insurance money. Like, yes, that's crazy as hell, but it happened. You know what I'm saying? So somebody setting up like, you know, with Dr. Karen and Anila, somebody, it's not, it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that you wouldn't believe that somebody would actually do something like that. But people do stuff like that. And that's true. So it's like, you just never know or whatever. Um, Kyle said the person that broke into her house and took all her bags and stuff, um, they called her and basically kind of sold her shit back to her. And Erica was not happy with that at all. Erica was like, why would you do that? Why would you pay them money? She was like, well, it wasn't that, um, what did she say? It wasn't that much. And then she was like, no, that's, that's a shakedown. Why would you do that? I was like, come on, Erica, you better know, miss, um, going into banks with handkerchiefs on and, um, trench coats <laughs> saying you somebody's widow girl, <laughs> allegedly girl, that shit is hilarious. Erica was not happy with that. So, you know, that was it with Doreen. Then they get on Crystal. Crystal, why is you, why are you such a dramatic millennial? Um, she said, I, everybody's like, I don't even know what that means or whatever. Y'all, y'all are dramatic. What's Lisa Renna's excuse? Cause she's, she, she gotta be Gen X. She an old ass Gen X. Is she a Gen X or a baby boomer? She might be a baby boomer. No, she might be a Gen X. I mean, no, no, she might be a baby boomer. How old is Lisa Renna? Lisa Renda, yeah, because I looked at, I, look, I even looked up Shakedown. I said, is that what it's called? Is that a shakedown when somebody steals your shit and sells it back to you? <laughs> is, that what, is that what it's called? She's 59 years old. Yeah, she's Gen X. She's an old, old Gen X. She's a, um, what do they call you, G geriatric millennial? She's a geriatric Gen, Gen X. 
Shout out to y'all. Y'all still have a little baby baby boomer tendencies. You do. You do. Um, oh, this is so bitter and so good. So bitter. That's what somebody told me the other day in the comments. Somebody must have really broke your heart. Y'all need to get some new material. That shit don't be working. It don't work. It don't work. Y'all have to, you have to talk to people who have the same values or put the same values in the things you put value in, in order for you to like, try to say something to them. You know what I'm saying? You have to make sure like, does she value what I value? So how you can't insult me with something that I don't find value in. All right. It's like, I don't find value in that. Like a baseball, it's like a baseball card. It's like you telling me you have a Jackie Robinson baseball card. I'm looking like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't. She really don't because I really don't. So sudden, they get on sudden. No, no, no. We crystal. See, girl, we forgot about crystal that fast. Um, the laxative comment. Why did you talk about your eating disorder? She felt it was important to say because in culture, culturally, um, culturally, uh, Asian people keep a lot of things to themselves. Culturally, a lot of people keep a shit to themselves. A lot of people do. Culturally, a lot of people keep shit to themselves. They don't say nothing. They don't express themselves. They, you know, it's, it's, it's really bad. It's really bad and good for her for like expressing herself because she felt it was something that she needed to say. Did Sutton walk in on you purging? And she was like, no, but it was something else. It wasn't that, but it had something to do with my body image issues. There are a lot of women and, you know, it's by design. Society designs it so that women are never satisfied with their bodies. I mean, they make millions and billions of dollars a year on women and men being unsatisfied with their body. So it is by design that people have body image issues. Some people have severe body image issues to the point where they develop eating disorders and all of that stuff, right? It's by design. So when she said she walked in on her, I figured it was something like that. I figured that it was something like she didn't want her to see her body. Not everybody is comfortable. There are women who are just not comfortable with other women seeing their body. I mean, and then then at the end of the day, you don't even know who's walking in the door. Like you hear the door open and you don't know who it is. So you kind of startled or whatever. And you hear something talking about, I don't know what's going on in here. She's so country. I don't know what's going on in here. <laughs> but it wasn't purging. So, okay. Um, miscarriages and eating disorders. It went with one... Um, what Kyle, how Kyle was behaving with Sutton at Garcelle's party. Everybody talked about that, how she, but everybody knew that she was drunk booze, honey. Everybody knew. She said, I said it the wrong way. It came out wrong. I was drunk and that's it. I drank too much. Um, the laxative comment from Erica, um, she didn't find, she really didn't find um, it offensive. She mostly found Dorit's comment offensive, the way that Dorit was talking about how she says that she vomits all the time. And Dorit was like confused as to why she thought, you know, she was like, I felt like we were all talking about it and I wasn't talking, but it, it was the way that she was saying it. It was, it did come off a little gossipy. It did not come off as concerned. It didn't. So just in that moment, that's how she felt. That was something she was on, honey. She was about to tell you, she was about to tell you, this is my truth. Did you hear her hit you with my truth? But your truth, my dear, is not true. It's a lie. And you cannot, that's, that is very, very tricky when people say that my truth shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's how I felt. And that was my truth. When the evidence shows something else and you keep denying it, we have a problem. We have a problem, Crystal. And I'm telling you, Crystal learned that behavior. Everything she was exhibiting, she learned it in childhood. When she developed her eating disorder, you learn a lot of different ways to get around things and to say things a certain way. She likes to talk to people like they're not as smart as her. And then she ends up sounding real crazy. She does. When they get on the dark comment, right? Um, oh, Dorit apologized. She said she's truly sorry about that. Um, she said it was graphic and shameful. Um, 
the dark comments. She, everybody's saying, speaking plainly, it was implying that she said something racist. But I, it was a different experience. You brought it up and and kept the same story, but I wasn't specific. Yes, you were. You said it was something specific, but it was darker. It was a dark comment, and I'm glad they showed it. Because you were implying something. You were trying to imply something. And I, I'm glad. Who was it that said um, you were trying to get, I think it was Doree. You were trying to get yourself from under from under the fire, right? So you tried to throw Sutton under the bus real quick and thought you would imply that this Southern white woman said something racist to get the heat off of you when in actuality nothing was said and maybe and maybe because Sutton was like quiet and not say anything maybe Sutton did say something because Sutton said maybe I used words I shouldn't have used so maybe Crystal is really legitimately not saying anything kind of to protect Sutton because they kept saying why can't let us get past it. We've got past it. I was the one who was offended. I was the one who was offended. Why do you need to keep talking about it? Right? So I understand what she was saying, but they want to keep talking about because they want you to say what it was because they knew what you was trying to do. So there's two things happening here. We don't know what Sutton said. Sutton is not denying that she didn't say something dark. She might have said something in crystal may have exaggerated that it was so dark. It may have been something like the Chinese girl in the pool comment. She thought it was offensive, she said. I found it offensive, and you don't have to find it offensive. I find it offensive. You don't have to. She was getting them with that. <laughs> she was getting them with that. Um, Andy called her out on Watch What Happens Live. You said it was something. It wasn't the comment that I was referring to. It wasn't specific. It was the way I felt. She felt that it was dark. Not that the comment was dark, but what she said made her feel dark. And then Garcelle and Kyle were like, no, 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 no. No, you never said nothing about you feeling like it was dark. You were saying that what she said, something specifically, was dark. I was so, that's the type of shit I love. I'm not going to even let you get the lie out. It depends on the situation. I might let you get the lie out so I can see if there's a pattern of behavior first. But uh, after I've unclocked you, I'm not, you can't, no, no, shut up. That's not what you said. That's not what you said. That's not what you said. Don't change it now. And then she was like, understanding what she was saying. Maybe I use words I shouldn't have use. Why was it okay? Don't accuse someone of saying something don't accuse someone of saying something specifically dark. That's what Andy was telling her. Like, you don't do, don't do that. Don't, you can't say that, especially when you're not going to say what it, everybody wants to know. What is it that she actually said? So now it's like, kind of like, if people wanted to hold on to that, they could really hold on to that and like, you know, hang it over Sutton's head. But whatever because we don't know at, at a lot of people don't think it was nothing it may have been something small and she's exaggerating it might have been nothing at all we don't know she seems to have a, uh she seems to have issues handling the truth right and describing things and then like this she was like it was it was the way i felt nah that's not what you said home girl we not changed you can't tell me how i feel no we're telling you what you said you can't change it to how you feel you're not doing that sorry girl um and then she said didn't you feel violated when somebody came in your house she says yes they weren't bringing me a coat i said oh, come on come on kyle kyle was not letting crystal live at all she wasn't um you spend weeks harping on a word and you're not asking about my experience why don't you get to know me because you're not saying what's true instead of the truth you're making up a story and she says listen what if it's actually what if it's actually my truth Bitch, we're not living in a land of what ifs. We need to talk about absolutes in this moment while you imply that this woman is a racist. That's what needs to happen, Miss Crystal. Don't play these games. 
Y'all got, girl, you got the right one. You got, I'm so glad Kyle wasn't letting that lady up. I'm so glad she was looking. She didn't know what to do. No, because girl, we're not playing these games. Not at all. Not at all, Crystal. Not at all. But your truth, girl, Kyle said, but your truth isn't the truth. <laughs> that's what, that's what when Mia said, I'm very transparent. Yeah, you transparent, bitch, but are you telling the truth? Shit, you can tell it all. You can make it seem like you're transparent. You can make it seem like you're sharing everything about your life and not be set telling anybody, anyone a word about it. Like Jada Pinkett. Y'all think y'all know everything about Jada Pinkett's life and, and don't know the half, let alone the quarter or all of it. We, we got all we need to know. You don't know shit. <laughs> it was true to me. You hear that? It was true to me. There was no story. Just stop it. Stop it. That's what Kyle was like. Girl, just cut it out. Cut it out. That was a long, it was a long, um, Crystal had a long um, segment. Oh, we didn't know that requesting Michael Jackson was a problem. She was like, well, it, I mean, it kind of is. I mean, like it is, it kind of is. And then here, Erica, you need to shut up. He beat the case. He beat the case. Girl, we are already established over here that just because something is legal doesn't mean that it's right and doesn't align with somebody's morals, values, and principles, okay? So yeah, he beat the case, he beat the case, but from Crystal's perspective, whatever happened years ago with Michael Jackson, she says that, I guess in her crew, that Michael Jackson is, you can't request Michael Jackson, I don't know. It didn't make sense to a lot of people. What's up with the 14 friends? That's what I want to know. Hello? That's my thing. That's what I really want to know. Well, before I start the show, here we go. Another like, you know, we're getting with the plane on words, right? You got to listen to Crystal. Um, Accusations. Okay. Not talking to me since I've done the show. Her friends, her 14 groups of friends, two of the women were asked to be on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is according to Kyle. The, she says the women or these group of people stopped talking to her since I've done the show. Um, she says, well, get ready for that. You are going to have a lot of people feel a certain way. That's when Kyle chimes in and says, well, it's two women that were already asked to be on the show. And she was like, yeah, that's why. And she was like, well, I thought you said it was because you did the show that they are not talking to you. Well, no, it was before. So I don't know if she was trying to say when I accepted it, when I accepted to be a part of the show, that's when they started acting funny with me. She said, but you said since you've been on the show, right? So they're getting mixed up with semantics and words. But the fact of the matter is whether it happened before or since, the fact of the matter is these women are not her friends because of the show. Period. We're not getting hung up on this stuff. That's why, because you got to, if you listen, is it because of the show? It was it because you accepted the show. Was it because you did the show or was it, what was it? You want to get hung up. Was it before or since girl, whatever it was after I said, yes. How are you confused? Kyle? How are you? Tell me, how are you confused? I just explained it. How are you confused? Well, you just changed your story and it's a little contradicting. She said, it started before I filmed. And she says, no, it's nothing to do with the show. I said, come on, bitch. <laughs> she said, after all of that, after she getting you hung up on before and since, she's going to say, it don't have nothing to do with the show. <laughs> and you know it. And you saw the way Crystal was looking at Kyle. Kyle was on her ass. I'm not playing these games with you, girl. I'm not playing. After all that, was it before or since you started the show? But you know, it don't have shit to do with the show. <laughs> <laughs> um here comes diana lizard lips jenkins um she she didn't feel well so she's at home she she said they said your lawyers are busy diana that um uh, she's sending out cease and desist letters um because of the rumors online the madam book was a catalog of call girls it broke my heart it did a lot of good for people it was sad that I had to defend something like that. They asked her about Jeffrey Epstein. She says she's never met Jeff Jeffrey Epstein. 
Um, and they named some other people that she'd been connected to. And she was like, oh, I must be a femme fatale. I'm very busy. And they said you are. They said you were a very busy girl, honey. What, what about, what's the thing with licking your lips? She says it's a nervous condition. She didn't even realize that she was doing it or whatever. I love that they were plain and clear. What's up with Philly Diva? Um, the woman that you came um, in contact with and said it must suck to be a black creator. She says, I was talking about black as a dark vibe. That's what she said, that she understood. You must be happy. How can anyone be happy w with being a black creator? In other words, you're spreading dark energy and dark vibes. But it's ironic that you are constantly harassing Garcelle. I think you have a problem with black people. I do. I think you knew exactly what you were saying. And I mean no speak of English. That don't work. I'm sorry, y'all. That don't, oh, me don't understand English. And the way she tried to act like, my family has been murdered. And when you send out threats, girl, what are you talking about? Okay. But you can't, just because your family has been murdered doesn't mean that anything. It really doesn't mean anything. Everybody has something that has happened to somebody in their family, in their life. Everybody has a goddamn story, a trauma story. I was like, shut up, Diana. Shut up. Uh, they just write things to troll us. If you're so passionate about the victims, put your money where your mouth is. They said that she has donated. Um, when I know and not to do something about it, Garcelle and the bots, who you, who did you think you thought I was behind that? You thought I was behind that? Garcelle said, yes, I did. You thought I would do something like that? Yeah. I'm not changing my answers. I said what I said. What you want me to do? I said what I said. I'm not changing it. <laughs> What else? What else is going on? You really have a low opinion of me. Yes, I do. <laughs> and like you be saying stuff like nobody's going to say like go against it or somebody's supposed to say something. I don't know what you think is going to happen. Yes, I think you would do it. Yes, I think that low of you. Yes, I have a low opinion of you. I think Garcelle also has a low opinion of Erica, Erica Jane too. I really do. You think I would bully a 14 year old? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, how evil must I appear? Garcelle says, um, she threatened me. She said, because, you know, after the post that Jax made, Diana's name was in the post. So people started going after Diana. And, and what's, you, you have to know that it's something psychotic when everybody has somebody, a group of people coming after them with death threats. So Garcelle is getting death threats. Diana's getting death threats. So you expect in the middle of my son getting death threats and protecting himself that in that moment, I should have thought about you. Are you crazy? You have to be crazy. I'm not thinking about you. I'm not thinking. Well, maybe Kyle. Well, maybe she, Kyle, that's what you need to stop doing is explaining for people because what Garcelle said, are you fucking kidding me? She was like, oh, it wasn't me. No, that's why you need to shut your goddamn mouth and stop trying to explain shit for people. So you don't get the, are you fucking kidding me directed at, she was like, no, <laughs> this is outrageous. This is outrageous. She said, if something happens, I'm coming for you. Well, how did I tell you I was coming for you? By law or whatever, a threat is a threat, girl. We're not going to start dissecting what a threat is. A veiled threat, a direct dr threat, indirect. It's a threat, girl. It's a threat. But I have murder in my family. Okay. Garcelle had tragedy in her family. Okay, now what? What's next? So now what? what's next? What do you want to do? Like, that's so stupid to me. I don't give a damn. I'm thinking about my family. I'm not thinking about your family in the middle of somebody telling me my kid is lucky that he has a white dad or a cop's knee would be on his fucking neck. Bitch, I'm not thinking about you. And the 
fact that you think that I, I should think about you and on top of you being harassing towards me all season says a lot. It says a lot. You need to leave me alone. Why are you so obsessed with me? Because you're so beautiful. She said, they're like, bitch, don't, I'm not fucking playing with you. When I tell you Garcelle cut her eyes at Diana, girl, is Diana, Diana says she quit, right? She's not coming back. That was the end. It was a good episode. It was I'm so glad Kyle was on Crystal. I am so glad Kyle was on. How did y'all feel about that? Did y'all think Kyle was doing too much? She was, was she interrupted? No, she wasn't interrupted. No, she was explaining. Cause I just got on her about it explaining for people. Cause she did that, um, I think she did that with Kyle. No, she did that with Garcelle before. Well, maybe she was trying to say, Kyle, shut up. Garcelle said, are you? She got up in her seat. She changed her seat and everything. Are you fucking kidding me? That's outrageous. It is outrageous. First of all, Diana, we already think you a bigot. Then you fuck with the only black woman on the show. You keep fucking with her, fucking with her, fucking with her. Then somebody said, then bots get sent to her son saying all kind of racist shit. Yeah, somebody is behind the bots, sending the bots, crawling the bots out. Then in in one of the messages, her son says, okay, that's enough. This is it. And then your name is in it. And now you want me in the moment while I think that you're behind all of this to protect you, bitch. You have a lot of fucking white ass nerve. You really do. You really do. I'm supposed to protect you in the moment I'm protecting my family. And I think you are behind this. <laughs> Girl, grow up. Grow up. You got a problem with black people. And because you. Black content. I don't know. I think she spelled black with a capital B. I don't know. Black with a lower B is color. Black with an uppercase B is ethnicity, right? You spelled it with a capital B. I'm pretty sure she did. I I remember that, like, registering that and, like, making a mental note of that. You got a problem with black people, honey. And, yes, you might not even understand why because your brain is so malleable and, like, mush and can be manipulated to the fact where you have a problem with people simply because they're skin color and you have no other reason why. You're a sick fuck. We know that. We know that. And it just so happens that you keep going after the only black woman on the show. You got a problem with black people. Yes. A lot of people got problems with black people and they don't understand why. When they start peeling back the layers, they're like, why do I have a problem with black people? I don't even know why. Right, because you a goddamn, damn dumb ass sheep. The herd gets slaughtered. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Protect your energy. I don't see it for Diana. I really wanted to because I thought, I was like, okay, she's girl about town. Your older cougar got her young little thing. Th- th- th. No, but you're a bigot. You can't sit over here, bitch. All right, anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace.